Hey, little kitty, you forgot to wear your shoes. It's dangerous to walk barefoot here. Me? Why? Because of the hookworms, the pesky parasites that can enter your body. How? Let me demonstrate that by answering a hooky question. What causes hookworms in your body? Zoom in! First off, what exactly is a hookworm? Well, my friends, a hookworm is a type of intestinal parasite with a slender thread-like body, barely visible to the naked eye, and a characteristic hook-shaped mouth that gives them their name. There are two main species that cause the most problems, namely Ancylostoma duodenale and Necator americanus, which are found in hot and moist regions of America, Africa and Asia. But what's the big deal with them? Well, these cunning creatures may be small, but don't let their size fool you as they are masters of survival who just love to make their home in the cozy confines of our small intestine, causing severe infection. I know what you're thinking. How do they enter our bodies in the first place? You see, when an infected person passes stool containing hookworm eggs, these eggs are deposited into the environment in warm and moist conditions, the eggs hatch and release larvae into the soil, where they can survive and mature. If someone else happens to walk along barefoot and steps on that contaminated soil, these creatures take this opportunity to penetrate our skin. Once inside the body, the larvae migrate through the bloodstream to the lungs. From there, they are coughed up into the throat and swallowed into the stomach. The larvae follow the digestive tract into the small intestine, where they attach to the walls and mature into adult hookworms. And once they grow inside us, they cause all sorts of trouble. Like what? Well, people infected with hookworms often experience symptoms such as skin rashes, fever, coughing, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, diarrhea, and weight loss. The most serious effects include anemia and protein deficiency due to blood loss, where adult worms attach to the intestines, impacting growth and mental development in children with recurrent infections. But fear not, my friends, for where there's a problem, there's a solution. So if you notice any of the said symptoms, simply provide a stool sample so that the healthcare experts can test it with microscope to reveal whether those pesky parasites are crashing your intestinal party. If tests show that you have hookworm disease, your doctor will give you special medicines to help get rid of the worms and might also give you iron supplements to help with anemia caused by the worms. Luckily, in most cases, a single course of medication is usually enough to treat the infection. However, as they say, prevention is always the best medicine. So to keep these worms at bay, you must take a few easy steps. First, avoid walking barefoot in hookworm hotspots. Steer clear of skin to soil contact. And for goodness sake, don't go munching on dirt. Also, take extra care in areas where people use outdoor bathrooms or fertilize gardens and fields with human waste. So, there you have it, my lovely explorers. A crash course in all things hookworm. Remember, knowledge is your best defense against these tiny troublemakers. So stay cautious and keep those feet covered. And make sure to like our videos 
send us your awesome sketches and ask your friends to subscribe to our channel. Trivia time! Did you know that as many as 740 million people worldwide have hookworm disease? Also, the worms can live in your body for two years or more. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Mansi Goyal. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs>